Hey everyone, we are here with Brian Williams. Brian, we saw you on the first day. We didn't get to catch your interview, but uh, we're gonna be interviewing now. So why don't you tell us uh, a little bit about yourself and why you're here. You've been, you've been here for the full three days. Full three days, yes, yes. Um, I'm really good friends with Tony Armour and also too, he was an instructor at the Art Institute. So uh, the very first year that I came, um, he told me you need to volunteer. And I was like, okay, yes sir, I'll do that. And I came and uh, I did the same thing you was doing. I walked around with a camera and I did uh, interviews with old superhero. And uh, I just be able to, came in with the family and you know, I was able to grow with, with sunscreen. And I'm actually proud that it has been here for 10 years now. That's awesome, that's awesome. So is this your first year being at Sunscreen or have you kind of visited in years past? Oh yeah, I visited in the year past. I started coming in uh, 2013. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've been coming ever since then. Is there any big differences that you see with the event? Um, I have to say yes. Uh, it's definitely, it's grown more attention to, yeah. to the audience. And also too, I kind of feel like the more people that come, the more inspiration that comes out of this. Because every year I see from this film festival, more films are being made because of what are the films that they're seeing at the features or meeting people in the workshops. And it's just been a, a, a very great success for this company. And I'm very proud of Tony and his team and, and Dwight. Dwight is gonna just take it to the next level. Now, I thought I heard something about that you actually have worked on a film in the past that was actually mentioned in previous uh, interviews. Do you mind telling us a little bit about that? Maybe some projects that you've already worked on? Yeah, um, matter of fact, there's a film that I worked with, uh, also with Tony, um, Kevin's Adventure. I was uh, one of the crew members there and we helped out, you know, I took a small team and we went around, we went around St. Pete, uh, filmed B-roll and all some other really, really cool things out there too. We shot at the Dolly Museum. It's really awesome. Yeah. Do you think those films will be showing up in the Sunstream Film Festival anytime soon? Yes, yes. Kevin Adventures should be showing up today. Um, it should be around the Shorts Block Action Adventures. Yeah, it should be really cool. So now, where can the viewers go to learn more information about yourself and your films? Do you have social media sites, websites, anywhere that they can go to? Yes. Um, you can actually go to my Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of a weird name. It is Big B underscore the king yeah and you actually you can follow all my stuff um, matter of fact we're actually working on a film right now called vindictive uh, our first shooting date is uh, May the 9th next weekend yeah. and uh, I'm teamed up with Team Genesis action and stunts uh, they're from Orlando and I, I'm very blessed to actually have them involved with my movie um, it, they have showed me everything that I have asked for in this film and it's gonna be a very dark and intense gritty movie and I can't wait to show everyone. Well thank you very much for your interview. Thank you. Thank you. Hope to see you again in the future. Oh yes. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey everyone we're here with another guest. Do you mind introducing yourself and telling us why you're here today? Um, my name is James Wilson. I'm producer of the Martial Arts Kit and we are our film was screened here today so we're part we're happy to be part of the Sunscreen Film Festival and proud to be a part of it as well. Now do you mind telling us a little bit about the film? Yeah, it's a family film and um, it has a very strong anti-bullying message. As a matter of fact, we have a nonprofit uh, called We're Kicking It. Excuse me, Bullying, We're Kicking It. It's out of New Jersey that has that is backing our film as well. And uh, it also is a movie where we uh, kind of show that martial arts instructors should have responsibility for the type of students that they, that they put out and back into society. Now, were there any favorite moments that you had? Maybe, you know, most favorable moments while filming? Well, I'm, I am actually um, proud of the scene in the auditorium that we called Master Spring Workout mm -hmm. because we had about 250 extras show up. Wow. And um, our, our DP and our, um, one of our ADs panicked because they said they worked on, on a TV show not too long ago with 10 kids. They said it's impossible. We have over a hundred kids here, and it's impossible to get get this done in a day. That they're gonna run all over the place and be uncontrollable. And I told them, you see those kids, those guys over there, those black belts are gonna line them up, and they're gonna do it, and we we'll, won't have any kind of problem at all. And they didn't, and we shot that scene in half of an afternoon. 
Now, adding on to that, um, why don't you tell us a little bit about you know how the filmmaking went? What was the process behind it? Getting the extras, figuring out the locations, and just molding the story. Well, we chose the location of Cocoa Beach, Florida, because uh, myself and Don, one of the co-stars, Don the Dragon Wilson, that's where we're from, mm -hmm. and we knew it was a beautiful location, and we also know, knew it was interesting and different, and we wanted to do that. And we didn't, we don't want our film confused with uh, the Karate Kid, so we didn't want it to be in LA, which is where it was set. We wanted to be totally, totally different for people. Yeah, and especially have a different purpose than Karate Kid, yes. mainly about bullying and how to overcome it. Yes, absolutely. Now, where can the viewers go to learn more information about the film, and you know, learn more information about yourself too? Well, I mean, we, we have a Facebook page right now, and um, you know, we're on Instagram and Twitter, so they can kind of catch us there and follow us a little bit there. Do you mind telling us the names of the social media sites? I really don't even know. <laughs> well, they can if search I was up, your they, age, I would know. They can search up the, um, the film's name as well, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, they can find us. They can find us. All right, well, thank you very much for letting me review. Thank you. I hope you have a great time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey everyone, we're here with Natalie now. Natalie, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're here at the Sunscreen Film Festival? Um, well, my name is Natalie Byrne and we have Awaken that's screening right now, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited about being a part of this amazing and sunny film festival. I came from LA, sunny as well, but nothing beats uh, Florida. I feel like, <laughs> yeah, no, the, the weather here is, is amazing. The people are great, you know, the atmosphere is really cozy and warm, and I love that. Um, I'm excited to be uh, showing my film Awaken to people. I produced it, co wrote it, I'm um, the lead in it, um, cast it, sang a song in it. I mean, uh, pretty much did everything that you can imagine. <laughs> Tough job. Do you mind telling us a little bit about it? Like maybe the main plot line and what kind of uh, film we're going to be seeing? Sure. Um, the main, like basically, it's a it's a girl who is uh, looking for her sister for five years, and she goes on this crazy search to find her, and then ends up being uh, kidnapped, uh, thrown on an island, wakes up in the middle of nowhere, and realizes that uh, she doesn't know where she's at. Meets uh, you know a few other people on that island, and later on they find out that they've been basically. Um, put there to later on be um, tracked down again and uh, harvest, uh, you know, and, and 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 sell their organs to uh, rich people. Now, was I right in hearing that uh, it was actually pretty, not really he action heavy, but uh, had some action elements that kind of related to the martial arts kid that which was shown before? I haven't seen the movie because I had to do, uh, yeah, we had to do this kick kick ass um, class, <laughs> and I had to like showcase my ability as a fighter a little bit so I was in that I had to train people um, but so I don't know what the the uh, comparisons of it I, I'm sure it's a great movie and Don is a is an amazing fighter so I, I can't even come close to what he is doing even though I was a ballerina so my background is ballet and then I a ballerina came went <laughs> into fighting and kick um, yeah kick kick ass kicking <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, um, I mean, we do have a, like action sequences in it, and mainly it's uh, uh, me who is fighting. Um, but we also have heart and like a really nice plot line throughout the whole movie, which I'm proud of because I wrote, I co-wrote it with uh, four other people, including the director Mark Atkins. Mm -hmm. And originally, when I found this uh, story that I, I read in the newspaper, it was about this kid whose eyes went missing. And later on, you found out that they were actually, you know, um, sold in the black market, and it was in China. And there's a huge like story going on right now in Russia as well that this kid went to have an operation and then woke up, uh, would never woke up actually, and they pronounced him dead. And all he was doing is having like his, his surgery for a nose. So like, and then his mom decided to do an autopsy and found out that all of his organs were missing. So there's a huge thing going on worldwide and we're not aware of it. And that's why I decided to write something like this, except add a bit of action, thriller and horror elements, which, you know, and amazing actors, Daryl Hannah, Vinnie Jones, Edward Furlong, David Keith, uh, Michael Perre, um, Jason London, and, uh, you know, Krista Camel, Michael Coupon, Matthew Byrne. <laughs> I mean, the list goes on. So it's actually uh, Robert Davi. So it's a, it's a great, you know, cast put together in one action 
thriller horror movie. I mean, what can go wrong? <laughs> now, where can the viewers go to learn more information about the film and yourself? You know, anywhere that the film may be showing next? Is there a website, Facebook, anywhere that they can go to? Well, we're on Twitter as Awaken Film, mm -hmm. and uh, also you can uh, tag me along. That's uh, at NatalieBurn01. And um, we're, we're actually, the movie's coming out US and Canada uh, July 7th. So get your DVD copy <laughs> and uh, watch the movie. We're probably going to screen a few theaters as well prior to that. And I'll definitely um, let my viewers know about that. So uh, you can follow me on Instagram as well. And that's Natalie um, Lower Dash uh, Burn. And um, yeah, that's. That's me, Facebook Natalie Byrne or Awaken Film. All right, well, thank you very much, Natalie, for letting me interview. Hope you have thank a great you. time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.